one is uh, block 66A because the water body is at the east and southeast. Then the second block that I would think I would want is, uh, or I prefer, is block 66. Presence of higher grounds and water is always one of the principles I just want to make sure that I adhere to. Today is uh, 10th October. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is a follow up and also the third time I'm thinking because I want to keep this short to within 5 minutes. There are going to be two parts in this video. The first part is sharing with you which block in Cambridge residences would I choose based on certain uh, logics. Then the second part is more of uh, helping one community member who reach out to me about Cambridge residences and helping him to personalize. Uh, what I've done is that I took a site plan inserted the 24 mountains at the bottom left so the key intention is to find out or have a rough sense of where the various sectors are meaning that where is the north sector where's the south where's the east where's the west because uh, in the direct and indirect spirit we would like to see the presence of higher grounds and waters at the right area we're almost transitioning to period nine we would definitely like to see uh, the water at the east and southeast. On a general level, there is a higher ground. That means the Cambridge Park, which you see where my cursor is right now, uh, that is definitely at a higher ground. That feature has been fulfilled. Now within the development, I want to look out for the presence of water. From this slide, you can see that there are a few pools of water body. One is here where my cursor is. The second one is down here, just in front of the dark grey blocks. The third one is right in front of the entrance, which I'm going around in square. The last one is one little water body at the left side. Since I want to select a block uh, that complies with this principle, because it's an evergreen principle, what I did was that I just took the 24 mountains and I plop 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 okay just pasted it on top of all, all blocks so I have two preferences one is uh, block 66A because the water body is at the east and southeast then the second block that I would think I would want is uh, or I prefer is block 66 presence of higher grounds and water is always one of the principles I just want to make sure that I adhere to. If you have any homes in mind, kindly do a feng shui audit first before you choose that home. So now let's head on to the second part which is helping the community member to personalize his home. When he reached out to me, uh, he has already chosen block 68 and particularly stack 85. What you can see here is that there is this nine grids here, kind of faint one. But the key intention is to identify the five essential areas of a home. So one, it is uh, the main door, right? Because you always walk in and walk out. The study room, uh, the bedroom, the stove, and the balcony. But of course, there are also other areas that if you spend most of your time in, then that is also considered a significant area that you might want to just take into some considerations of uh, feng shui. There's a small note there. The main door and the living room. So the main door has a star 1A. This combination to get things completed. One, either you do it yourself. Two, seek the assistance from other people. And definitely star 1 is good for seeking external support. The suggested usage will be more of network. And network with someone that you need to know well at the end. And the other Thing that I wanted to personalize for this community member was uh, since he gave me his date of birth uh, there are definitely a set of uh, four favorable sectors or directions that I can use definitely is the northeast west northwest and southwest let's hit and see and just do a memorization of the various sectors the northeast the northwest the west and the southwest so follow my cursor northeast northwest west and southwest so I will zoom in into the part which is the living room. If I were to use the area, I will use it to place uh, my work table. Cause 
at that particular living room there's also the star 9 the presence of this star would be timely in feng shui to my knowledge it is always the usage of areas the environment the feng shui environment affecting those areas and using and harmonizing these two is how uh, i feel my style of feng shui would be using areas that are good to support our endeavors whatever home that we select we just want to make sure that we maximize its potential if you'd like to do so reach me via the methods that we will describe or write in the video description below thank you for watching tune in to the next video